Hi there! In this video, I'll show you how to easily create a trivia quiz that brings great results. Trivia quizzes allow users to test their knowledge on a particular topic by answering questions and receiving a score. Trivia quizzes are used for many different use cases, including driving engagement, gathering qualified leads, testing knowledge, getting social traffic, educating on a product or a service, and more. With Opinion Stage, you can either create a trivia quiz from scratch or from a template. If you want to create it from scratch, you can just come over here, click Trivia Quiz, and you'll get a blank form and you can fill it out. In this video, we'll focus on creating a trivia quiz uh, from a template. So I'll start by showing you a few templates. This is a general trivia quiz for testing knowledge. As you can see, the quiz is very visual. You can add an optional message after the vote or not. You can show indications of correct and incorrect if you like or not. And like you can see, we can have an image answer or just a textual answer and a video or image introduction. So I'm gonna quickly scroll through this quiz. And as you'll see at the end of the quiz, I'll get a score, which again can be fully customizable. Here you go. And you can share in social and you have a call to action button that you can configure. Let's take a look at another example. How much do you know about digital, digital marketing? In this case, it's more of an assessment. So we're probably not one to show in this case um, the correct or incorrect answer and provide the user at the end a score. You can also hide the score if you like and only keep it for the admin that created the test. Everything is up to you. But let's complete it and I'll get a score. It could also be configured in percentages. And the last example I wanted to show you is an example of using a trivia quiz uh, for creating a competition. So in this case, we'll begin the competition. The user, user that gets the most questions in the least time, as you can see, we are tracking time over here, will be the one that will win a prize. And in order to win the prize, uh, we'll also ask the user to leave his information. Now, in any trivia quiz, you can configure a lead form, just as this form. Here you go. You can configure it with whatever. Um, over here, I'll put my name and email. You can make it optional. You can make it mandatory in order to complete the quiz. Um, and also, you can put as, as many fields or, or as many different fields as you like. And again, you get the answer. Um, and so that's the third example I wanted to show. Now let's take one of our quizzes and let's say we like this quiz and let's see how we create a quiz from a template. So as I mentioned, you can either create from scratch from here or you can create from a template. So I'm just gonna click use template. What will happen when I do that? It will copy the template to my items. I can make whatever changes I want um, and I can publish. So I actually didn't make any change in this case. So let's make a change so you, so you can see an example. Let's say I wanna change the cover image and select my own uh, different cover image. I'm going to click here. I can select any image I like. Let's say free use um, and just look something for general knowledge. Um, I can, you know, kind of browse here to see something that I like. For the first case, let's say I like this image. I'll put it here, crop and save. And I can preview the quiz to see that I like it. And here you go. OK, now let's go over the quiz and the different uh, sections of it. So the first part is the cover. So over here, you can configure the title, the description, the image, as I showed you before. Then you have the questions. Uh, you can configure as many questions as you like. You can add, remove. Um, in this case, you, you can see that there is uh, an image answers. Uh, you can add an introduction of an image or a video. See, over here, you can uh, decide on the layout. And then you can set which is the correct answer. It can be one or more than one answer. In this case, this is the correct answer. You can randomize the answers. You can display uh, an explanation after the answers as well. So those are all the questions. You can see that in this case, we have, I think, something like 12 questions, if I remember correctly. Yes. And then after that, you can configure the results. Now you can configure different result screens based on the number of correct answers that the user got. 
In this case, in this example that we're showing over here, if he got zero to three correct answers, I'll give him this title and this text. You can see you can use parameters. The parameters can be the number of correct answer, number of questions, the percent of correct answers. Um, and you can also, in the result, configure a call to action or a redirect. So based on the answer, you can redirect to a different landing page or to the same landing page up to you. Uh, but to get back to the number of correct answers, if you get zero to three, you'll get this result. If you get four to six, you'll get this result. And if you get seven to nine, this one. And lastly, 10 to 12, you'll get this result. So that's how you configure the questions and the results. If you want to configure a lead form, as we showed before, you can integrate a lead form over here um, and just edit it. And you'll see that there's a lot of options. You can add, remove questions, um, fields, email, number, name, phone, whatever you like. Another feature I'd like to show you is the skip logic. Skip, skip logic lets you jump to different questions based on the answer to the previous one. So that sometimes comes uh, handy. Um, and then there is a kind of a few general settings, such as the timer I showed you before, if to show indicators of correct or incorrect, and so on. The last thing I wanted to show in this form is the ability to configure the language of the quiz, the design. You can select the color theme, the font, all the way up to CSS override if you want to match it 100% to your brand and your, to your site. We have social settings. In this case, you can customize the Twitter message, the Facebook message. You can add Facebook comments, and you can decide if you want to show the social sharing bar or not. Um, and you can also preview, uh, add an image, the image that will be shared in social networks. You can also configure integrations, automatically sending the results to your marketing automation, to your database, wherever you want. You can integrate an ad inside if you want to uh, kind of use it for generating revenue. Uh, and if you're doing an ad campaign such as Google or Facebook, you can also uh, configure pixel tracking. So let's say I created the trivia quiz. I like it. I want to add it to my site. I click embed and share. Now, there's a lot of options uh, here. Uh, one of the options, in case you don't have a site, well, maybe we'll start with that, is to uh, cl click here, view, and you can just share a landing page. Each site, this will be a white labeled landing page. You can also add your own logo. Um, the other option is here is just to directly share in social networks. But most of our users actually add it to their site. So you can do that in different ways. If you have a WordPress site, we have a plugin that you can use or, or a short code. If you have any other ones, you can do it using an iframe or using a script. OK, so let's say you published uh, the quiz. You either added it to your site, you shared it in your social networks, or shared it with emails. The next thing to do um, is to see the results. So let's take a look at the results. So this is an example of uh, results. Uh, in this case, you can see the views, the number of people that started the quiz, completed, the average time they spent on the quiz. Um, number of engagement clicks, leads if you're gathering, in this case you're not gathering leads, the CTA button, the call to action button we mentioned. And then over here you can see what was the result of each one of the questions. You can get a response report with all the details, including metadata over here. A drop-off report which shows you where people are dropping off your quiz. This will allow you to optimize your uh, quiz for completions and a score report where you can see what are the scores, uh, how many people got each one of the scores um, in this quiz. So as you can see, creating a trivia knowledge quiz with opinion stage is super easy and fast. You can literally create a great looking and performing quiz in minutes. If you have any questions, you can contact us via the small button on the uh, right over Let's go to the dashboard um, and we'll see it just over here. Thanks for watching this video and enjoy creating your quizzes.